Konnichiwa, it's Koneko here, and for today's video, I'm going to show you the items I got at HalCon 2017. If you are new here and you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscription button down below and become a part of this magical and pastel family. I'm not sure if I look very much like Ginny Weasley today or not. I had an orange wig. Um, I recently cut the bangs because I've been trying to put together a Futaba cosplay. Maybe I should have waited longer before I cut them. But I was going for a Ginny Weasley look as a lot of items that I excitingly got are Harry Potter and Gryffindor themed, which I am a huge, huge fan of Harry Potter and I am in House Gryffindor. So I thought I would try to dress up as Ginny Weasley even just a little bit. And since I'm already on the topic of Harry Potter and I'm wearing some Harry Potter items that I got from the con, I will start with these items, such as this Harry Potter necklace. And I got two other necklaces from this vendor and this one and another one are Harry Potter related and then there's a Sailor Moon related one. So starting with the one that I'm wearing. It is a simple yet beautiful Hogwarts crest with a gold chain. It says Harry Potter on the back. The next Harry Potter necklace is with this black cord and it says D.A. Dumbledore's army on it and it's like a little scroll piece of paper. It looks so cute. And since I also got this necklace from the shop, even though it's not Harry Potter, I will show it anyways. It is Sailor Moon. I've been wanting this simple silhouette of Sailor Moon for a while now, so I'm glad that I found one. And they came in this beautiful organza-like bag. It looks very whimsical. It has butterflies, um, which at first I just thought it looked very whimsical. I didn't even know there was butterflies on it. And back to Harry Potter and what I'm wearing, this Gryffindor t-shirt that says Gryffindor has a cool, simple lion print on it and has the qualities of a Gryffindor, bravery, daring, and courage. More Harry Potter, but a different vendor. I got this awesome water bottle that has the Gryffindor kind of stylized crest on it. There's a little button here, pops up the straw. I was drinking from it when I had lipstick on, so that's what I'm doing. And then you just press it back down, it snaps into place. It's only meant for cold drinks, um, and there's like a straw in it, and it's like got like a tin on the inside or something. There's water in it right now, so. So I could be wrong, but I think that's all the Harry Potter items that I got at the convention. But I thought I'd start with that because I love Harry Potter so much and they're some of my favorite items that I got. John and I both got awesome anime flasks. I have got to say that I absolutely love mine. His is awesome too. It is pink. It is Cardcaptor Sakura, and it is both cute and punk <laughs> at the same time. It's like, you've got this super cute pink and cutesy anime themed flask. So, I mean, I don't really drink, but like this is 
just one of those random purchases where you know it's just gonna go on display on like your shelf or whatever and it's just it's so cute I absolutely love it I can't I don't really see myself using this for alcohol I see myself displaying this on a shelf with some cute pastel pink or so like figures like mini figures or like cute little like knickknacks and stuff So when John and I were driving around the Halifax area, like around town, there was some traffic and we were kind of slowly moving along a street. I think I still remember it was Quinpool and there was a shop that caught my eye called The Ikebana Shop because it had so much like Studio Ghibli and like super cute items in the shop window and then I realized that they had a booth at the convention. Now there was lots of things that I wanted and I kind of wanted to stop in like the store because I would assume they had more variety there but you know there's only so much time and you know it was quite a crazy busy weekend it just flew by so fast. Anyways I picked up two little charms I saw that they had a bunch of Aono Exorcist charms and I was looking for Rin but like they didn't have Rin. Then I was trying to like look to see if they had like the black cat and they didn't have that. So I got like the next cutest character in my opinion which is this little green guy. And he's just super cute and happy and you can like unclip it from this and put it onto a different chain like maybe more of a keychain or whatever but I'm definitely just going to have boards upon boards with like pins and keychains and all sorts of things I just love collecting these sort of things and the other one that I got since I couldn't find any like large Sailor Moon or Kirkcaptus Sakura ones at the con except for one that was like 179 and then when I on the last day like looked over at the vendor that had that Sailor Moon wand it was gone and I was like who paid 179 even though I kind of wanted to pay 179 for that Sailor Moon wand but I didn't. Anyway, so I settled with this cute little Sailor Moon wand that is super cute and I'd like to one day own a few of the bigger ones, but for now. And now for the final items from the vendor section of what I got at Halcon are all from this shop here. So this shop is Big Piper Collectibles and we got so many plushies and wall scrolls at Animaritime from them and we saw them again at Halcon and they have amazing prices for plushies and wall scrolls and other little items there as well. I believe um, not this past year at Anime Time, but like last year I also bought a lot of little things like um, like my Sailor Moon um, like little glass cup with my little Sailor Moons that I sit a place upon it and just a lot of other little items like I usually go back every year. Three big plushies and a free little plushie. If you've seen my Animaritime vlog and my Animaritime like haul video, um, I mainly got a lot of real Akuma plushies. This time, I got my Melody. <laughs> 
All right, so this is the first one that I saw, maybe because it was one of the larger ones, and it was super cute and pink, and I love the little bow up here, and like the little winky eye, and it's just so soft and sweet, and I knew, I knew that I really, really wanted this one. But I also saw these two, and these two are also super precious. So this one is a very cute little devil. So she's got the little devil heart-shaped tail. She's got some lace around her neck, like a little collar. And she's got these cute purplish devil horns and a super sweet little heart on the cheek as well. And this little cutie is a little maid. She's got cute bows on either side. She's got this sort of like fuzzy hat thing going on with like matching lace around the edge here that goes with like the top part. And she's blushing a little bit, which is super sweet. And she's got a little black bow above her little tail. And for now, she just goes right there. I got this cute little bunny plushie for free with my other plushies. And it says love question mark and it says love on the ear and it's super, super adorable and cute. So moving on to um, some artists of different types, which I would like to start with Cosplayer. So this was the first time that I bought cosplay prints of a cosplayer at a anime convention. I've gotten two cosplay prints online before. They are my Harry Potter ones that are in my Harry Potter cubby of Luna Lovegood in Hermione Granger as sort of like Harry Potter pinup style. This cosplayer is Recare, and I've been following her on Instagram for a very long time and then I eventually was following her Facebook page as well and I just have always found like a lot of inspiration from her and like I love her cosplays and like the photo shoots that she does like the photos are just like they turn out amazing so I purchased three prints from her. I got her Anne from Persona 5. I was really hoping that I had Futaba ready for Halcon, but I'm just piecing Futaba together right now and she's just not ready. I want her to like look good before I bring her to a con. I also got her um, mashup version of Harley Quinn and D.Va and I got her Sailor Moon one as well and of course I got them all signed while I was there she signed them for me now moving on to some artists who I either got like stickers magnets artwork from them I'll start with these cute little stickers they came in this bag. I got a little diva sticker that says Nerf This and it's holographic. Super cute. And I also got a sticker set of various anime cats. So we have like Luna and Artemis and Gigi and I recognize the other ones but I'm not positive their names or like I might say them wrong but I absolutely just love cats and stickers so cat stickers are pretty amazing the next two art pieces are so adorable and I really want to get some really nice white frames to put them in and put them beside each other because they, in my opinion they go so well together. They are these two little precious things. One of Luna with like 
um, the Sailor Moon wand and compact and then Kiro with the like the key and card The next item was from a very cute Lolita style booth and I was given my keychain item in this cute bunny looking bag. And it was also placed in this cute little Sakura flower bag. And it smells really good. <laughs> So it is a little keychain that is like a cat face, um, but in it is just like glitter and like um, it looks like a magical girl like star or symbol and I just thought it was super cute and precious. It is a little bit sticky, I don't know if that was just from the heat. Um, it was really warm and it was in my suitcase and everything. The next item is this super cute sparkly Pocahontas sticker. I absolutely loved this artist style for the Disney princesses and I'm always looking for more Pocahontas items as I feel um, there isn't really that much merchandise for her anymore and she has always been one of my favorite Disney princesses. So I was super glad that I found this very adorable sticker. This one is labeled an oddity or two presents and then they are earrings. This is an item that John picked up for me while I was in the washroom. So yeah, I'm not positive if that is the name of uh, the artist or like the table or anything, but they are super cute Sailor Moon earrings. Another item that John picked up for me while I was in the restroom are these two super cute magnets. Luckily, they came with um, a little card that the artist put in the bag and the bag was also labeled with their name, um, Sarah Christie illustration so this is a great idea if it's possible for artists to do is just stick some kind of little name tag even if it's not this fancy um, in the bag you know because that would help a lot <laughs> and here are the magnets so there is a super adorable Hermione Granger casting a spell and look at that packaging. It is just beautiful. Wow. I absolutely love this design. And the other one is Sailor Moon. I believe this is the last item that I got and it is from Leash May Artists. As you can see by their card, very pastel, so I couldn't help but picking up this relatively larger print than the other items of this super sweet, literally sweet, like there's sweets <laughs> and bunnies and super cute pastel print. I want to frame this in a white frame. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of the aesthetics I'm going for in this room. I would like, you know, I have white shelving and white boards. Well, the shelving up there is blue, but I have a new white shelving and like a uh, like stand shelf that's white and all that jazz. And I would like my frames for my items to be white because super pastel and I would just like a nice white border around it. Yeah, super happy with like all of my purchases, especially how cute a lot of the art I got is. Well, those are all the items that I got from Halcon. I don't think I'm missing anything. If I am, I might just have to sneak in a clip somewhere or a picture of it. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's everything that I got or that John got for me. 
If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you have any of these items or got anything from these artists or vendors, let me know what you got in the comments section below. Even if you made a video or a post, link that below. I'd love to check them out. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!